Hello, thank you for watching this video. The C in A squared plus B squared equals C squared defines the number of AB right triangle tiles that are needed to construct a self-similar right triangle expansion. Using this self-similar relation as a recursion allows a maker to nest arc 10 AB's A periodic spin within the expansion. A equals four, B equals three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Rotate two times arc ten one. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Flip for the boundary. Nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, and 25. A is 4, B is 3, and 4 squared plus 3 squared is 25. The anti-orthogonal triangles can line the 3 squared plus 4 squared hypotenuse, but not the 3 times 5 and 4 times 5 sides. 3 squared plus 4 squared is 25, 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20. 25 is represented linearly as the hypotenuse and planarly as the number of self-similar smaller triangles that construct the hypotenuse of the bigger triangle. C squared is 25. As a Thalesian rather than Pythagorean conveyance, the self-similar smaller triangles are divisible as a pi divided by two dipolarity with B squared triangles on the left and A squared triangles on the right. This dipole division is the key to how the anti-orthogonal diagonals continue to n plus plus turn along n times arc tan a divided by b as the overall self-similar recursion maintains pi divided by 2 periodicity. The left pole wedges the parent triangle along arc tan a divided by b. 1 divided by c shrinks the biggest triangle size down to the smallest triangle size. 1 divided by 25 to the square root equals 1 divided by 5. Rotate arctan 4 divided by 3. multiply by 5, multiply by 5, multiply by 5, and multiply by 5 to finally reach the end. Or 1 times arc 10, 4, 3, 2 times arc 10, 4, 3, 3 times arc 10, 4 times arc 10, 5 times arc 10. C times C times C times C times C, n times arc 10, a divided by b. This process can ad nauseum spin arc 10, a divided by b along n plus plus. If b is larger than a, then the wedged angle is less than arc 10, 1 which equals pi divided by 4. If b equals a, then the triangle conveys the silver ratio and periodically follows pi divided by 2, so there isn't a wedge. Times 1 half to the square root, rotate by arc 10, 1. Times 1 half, rotate by 2, arc 10, 1. Rotate 2 times arc 10, 1 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, From this Thalesian perspective, the silver ratio is perpetually halted because A equals B. All other ratios are perpetually non-halting because, by definition, either A or B is greater than the other. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have additional work on my best tape Instagram account. If you're interested in supporting my work, please visit my Best Aid Patreon account. Thanks. Bye.